Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. If you are using Dynamics 365 customer service, then you probably have the need to escalate cases. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Now, I did a previous video, an article where I showed how you can set up auto assignment of cases. And the logic that I'm going to show you in this video is going to be built on top of that. Let's first take a look at how this exactly works. So I actually am using this out of the box escalate case field and I'm going to set this to yes. And as you can see, now I have a custom field pop up that says escalate case two. So I actually have three values in here, but normally you would just have two or if you have more tiers, obviously you could put that in there as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and select tier two support, and then I can save this and you'll see that the owner of this particular case will then be changed to the two tier support. And now we see that this case is now assigned to tier two support, which is a team. So the way that it works, as I mentioned just earlier, I already created a solution for auto assignment, which is looking at the category and the subcategory fields. So if I actually open those up, because these are actually records. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. So what we need to do here is we need to add these two fields, which are lookups to the team entity. That's what I did. And then again, right, whatever I have here in two tier support or in tier three support, that's the team what will be assigned to that particular case. So let's take a look at this. I'm just going to go ahead and log into make.powerapps.com. And there's a couple of different things that we're going to do. First of all, we're going to add that custom field to the case entity. So let me just go ahead and search for case. And here we go. We can just open it up. This is the field that I created. So it's called escalate case two, and you can see that that's an option set. And then I can put some values in there. So the way that I did that is I just clicked on add field and then you can put your display name in here. So this field is going to be called escalate case two, and this needs to be an option set. And then I can tie this to an existing option set, or I can create a new one. Now I already have one case escalation as you can see and if i want to edit those values if you click into that you can see here i have three but obviously we just want these two and then you can just go ahead and save that field since i already have it i'm just going to go ahead and cancel that and then obviously you need to make sure that you have those fields also on your form or you can just put them, what I did that you saw earlier in the demo, you can just go ahead and put them on a business process flow as well. Now that we've done that, let's now go to the other entity, which is that new entity that we created earlier when I wrote that article about auto assigning cases. And I'm just going to go ahead and create two new fields. And that's that tier two support and tier three support field. And if you look at that, you can see that that's actually a lookup field to the team entity. So again, the way that you can do that, you click add field. Tier two support. This is going to be a lookup field. Here we go. And then that's going to be teams 
or team is actually the system name and I have to scroll all the way down to team here we go and there you go you're just gonna go ahead and save that and you're gonna do the same thing for the tier 3 support field as well and then you might want to make that required right because you want to have values in there so again I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that then of course you need to go ahead and also put those let me just go back here to entities you need to go ahead and put those on that form and let's just go ahead and open the form I think it's my main information form. Let's take a look here. And let's zoom in a little bit. So we want to make sure, obviously, that we add right these fields on here. So let's do right over there and let's put tier two support oops on there as well. And then obviously you need to make sure that you save and that you publish that. And then this is what that will look like, right? We now have the tier two support and we have tier three support as well. And you can see here that I'm actually doing this on that subcategory field. You'll see that a little bit later. I know that because this one is the parent has a parent category. Um, but if you prefer doing that assignment on the parent category, you can do that as well. And let me show you what I'm talking about because that's really the logic that we're going to create for this. So let me pull up a workflow that we're going to create for this. So you're just going to go and click here on the gear and then you're going to do advanced settings and then this window will load and you will click here on processes. Okay, so I'm going to click on new and this is going to be case escalation this is going to be a workflow for the case entity and you're going to uncheck this box because we want this to be a real-time workflow okay so we want to set the scope to organization and we want this to start when let me find a field escalate case two when that field changes and then you can run it as the user who makes changes to the record or as the owner of the workflow if you're running it as the user who makes the changes make sure that they have the proper security and the privileges that are needed to run that workflow i'm going to do a check condition and i'm going to click here if condition and I'm going to set this case and escalate case to equals let's first do that rule for the tier 2 support but the other thing we want to do is we want to make sure that that subcategory right we just looked at that that was that drop down value that the tier two support, which is that team lookup, that it actually has data, right? We don't wanna assign it to something that doesn't have data in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save and close. And then I'm gonna, again, click on this row because now we wanna assign the record to whatever team is in that dropdown value in that subcategory field. So we're going to assign the case. I'm going to click set properties. And you can see here, this is that lookup. So I'm going to drill into that. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to go down to subcategory and whatever is in that tier two support lookup. And that's it. I'm just going to go save and close. And now we're going to put our mouse again in that top line here. And we're going to do another check condition. And again, we're going to set the condition here to case equals. 
Escalade case two equals tier three support. But again, we want to check to make sure that subcategory that team lookup for tier three support equals oh contains data. All right, and then at the end of that, I always like to put a stop workflow step in there as well. And here it is. And now we can just go ahead and save that. And then we can activate that. There we go. Now, another thing that you really need to keep in mind is that you still have to now create the teams, right? So again, you can go here to settings, you can go here to security, and then you can go here to teams. And when you're creating those teams, you want to make sure that these are ownership teams, right? So you can see here, I have an accounting team, I have tier two support, tier three support, and this is where, again, you can create those. So you're just going to put a name in there, whoever that administrator is, right? Which, let me just put myself in there. I cannot type today. Tab out of that. Yep. And you want to make sure, again, that that is an owner team. And then, of course, you want to make sure you add some team members to that as well. And then lastly, you want to go ahead and you want to find those drop down values. Okay, and you can see here, I have here my all my case types, my view. You can see here that I have my tier two support and my tier three support all in there as well. So make sure you do that because otherwise, obviously, nothing is going to happen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button. Be sure to check back again next week for yet another video. Have a great day, guys. Thanks so much.